After we discovered fire, we began to incinerate forests intentionally to clear the land by a process called slash and burn agriculture. And today, forests and grasslands are being destroyed frivolously, carelessly, by humans who are heedless of the beauty of our cousins, the trees, and ignorant of the possible climatic catastrophes which large-scale burning of forests may bring. The indiscriminate destruction of vegetation may alter the global climate in ways that no scientist can yet predict. It has already deadened large patches of the Earth's life-supporting skin. And yet we ravage the Earth at an accelerated pace, as if it belonged to this one generation, as if it were ours to do with as we please. The Earth has mechanisms to cleanse itself, to neutralize the toxic substances in its system. But these mechanisms work only up to a point. Beyond some critical threshold, they break down. The damage becomes irreversible. Our generation must choose. Which do we value more, short-term profits or the long-term habitability of our planetary home? The world is divided politically, but ecologically it is tightly interwoven. There are no useless threads in the fabric of the ecosystem. If you cut any one of them, you will unravel many others. We have uncovered other worlds with choking atmospheres and deadly surfaces. Shall we then recreate these hills on Earth? We have encountered desolate moons and barren asteroids. Shall we then scar and crater this blue-green world in their likeness? Natural catastrophes are rare, but they come often enough. We need not force the hand of nature. If we ruin the Earth, there is no place else to go. This is not a disposable world, and we are not yet able to re-engineer of the planets. Human activities brighten our landscape and our atmosphere. Might this ultimately make an ice age here? At the same time, we are releasing vast quantities of carbon dioxide, increasing the greenhouse effect. The Earth need not resemble Venus very closely for it to become barren and lifeless. It may not take much to destabilize the Earth's climate, to convert this heaven, our only home in the cosmos, into a kind of hell.